Yes. Um, I understand that two questions I wanted to ask, but the fellow in the front row mentioned part of my other question, and I'd really like to make that an addendum to the question that I wrote. Uh, the, a lot of the points that you had made, I believe, I think a lot of people agree with. Even people who won't come outward and say that they agree with, actually do agree with. Looking out into the future, let's say your, your party grows to the point that you are able to become the prime minister. I think something that sits in everybody's mind is, even though we agree with, if not all of what you say, at least a good portion of it, I think a lot of people might have the feeling, and I do myself, that as prime minister, you might lack somewhat of the polish that is necessary. I'm not saying that's the correct way. We know that to be a politician, you have to be somewhat to face, even though we, we as Jewish people don't believe that's the total way to go about it. However, we're not living in a total world. And as a future prime minister, it will require that certain amount of whatever you want to call it. The additional point that I'd like to make, similar to what the man in the first row had said, even though I believe that probably the, the smartest solution at this point might be, or probably is, to throw out the air. However, even as, as you go on campaigning, for not to appear that tough, even though I'm not disagreeing with the points, but that tough image, so that um, the point is, Arabs are welcome to stay. They are very welcome to stay under our Jewish law, not the Jewish law that's here. Even though you said that as an answer to this question, I think it should be made more emphasis during the whole time that you had spoke, nothing was said. The country will be by Jewish law, by total law, they're welcome to either stay and fit into it or leave. All right. First point, uh, I think it's about time that Jews stopped adapting to what you call the real world. Let me just tell you something. Sorry about the Yerub Rebbe. The first Yerub Rebbe was studying with his little son, who at that time was only five, and they were already learning Gemara in Darshan, in Warsaw. And they came to Gemara, Kuli Al. So the father asked the son, Who, who is the Kuli Al? Tell me, who is the Kuli Al? Who is the Kola Olam? He didn't know. He said, come here. He took him to the window. He said, look out the window. <coughs> there was a, the, this Warsaw Street filled with thousands of people. And he said to him, do you think that that is the Kuli Alma? We are the Kuli Alma. Don't tell me to adapt to the world. The world will adapt to me. To totally <laughs> It polish is a euphemism for don't always tell the truth and don't always do this. I didn't mean don't always tell the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you will have to speak with other leaders of the world. Right, and I and I will speak with them exactly the way I speak to you. Or else don't vote for me because you don't need one more of the hundred and nineteen losers that are sitting in the Knesset now. <laughs>